Hello and welcome back to Dragon Quest Vault Tutorials. I am Koichi and in this video we're going to go against the new Mega Monster. So that's going to be Vildress. So right over here. So this is going to be a level 70 uh, Mega Monster. So this is going to be the first of its kind. So uh, this does have a special Mega Monster battle as well. I'll probably do that in another video. Um, but uh, with this particular battle, uh, I want to actually use my Mera team. Uh, Miltris is actually going to be weak to uh, Mera, Boggy, and Dane. Uh, he's actually going to be most susceptible to Boggy attacks, but uh, since I don't really have, uh, especially the new weapon, so the Master Dragon Spear, that would actually really help uh, my Boggy team out quite well. Quite well. Uh, since I don't have that, I'm going to settle with my Mera team. So uh, you've seen this Mera team before, it's exa almost exactly the same as uh, the ones I have used uh, recently. The only big difference here is that maybe uh, on my Armamentalist, I actually have switched back to using the uh, Calligraphy Staff. And the main reason why is because uh, Metazoma is actually a pretty good spell within itself. And also it's actually a lot cheaper than uh, Dragram which actually cost uh, 50 while uh, Marizoma here only cost 22. So I think that's going to help me out in the long run here. But pretty much everything is going to be the same as uh, the other videos that I actually have used with this particular team. So with that said, uh, I want to actually first go over some of the things about uh, Mildress, so uh, his attack. So right over here, um, you're going to have uh, information about Mildress, so he's going to have one to three actions per round. Again, I say he's weak to Mera, Dane, Boggy. Uh, the first attack he's going to have is going to be Dark Magic Miasma Bullet. So that does around 520 damage to one character and 280 damage to all other characters with the chance of lowering defenses by one rank and lowering all resistances. So he uses that when uh, his HP is under 30%. Then he's going to have a Shakunetsu Hono, which is Burning Flame, so that does around 330 Mera Breath Damage to all characters. Then he's going to have a Sukuni Chigeki, which is Critical Blow, so that does around 420 Critical Damage to one character. Then he's going to have a Yonho no Ude de Kyoretsu ni Kogeki Shita, uh, Kogeki Shita which is a four-armed vicious attack. So that does four attacks for 180 damage each to random characters and the chance of lowering their defenses by one. Then he's also going to have uh, Marizoma. So that does about 340 uh, Mara spell damage to one character. He's also going to have Yonazum, which does about 200 uh, EO spell damage to all characters. And then he's going to have a uh, Itetsuka Itetsuku Hado, which is a destruction wave that removes all buffs on one on all, on all the party. So um, that actually makes doing buffs actually quite uh, difficult since I'm not sure exactly uh, when he's going to actually use it. But um, with that said, um, I want to get into this battle since I do have only a little bit of time left. But uh, here we go. Okay, so here we are with our battle with Mildress. So, uh, like I mentioned before, he actually has a Disruption Wave, which actually, which actually uh, does uh, remove buffs. But uh, I'm actually going to take a risk and actually put buffs on in order to do more damage to Mildress. Since uh, you can actually put uh, Rukani on him. Uh, here, of course, I'm going to be using Force Burst to increase the spell damage and also... Uh, the amount of force, the rate of force breaks that I can get. And Nukani should go in. Ooh, yep, that was a spell crit, so yep, that should work. And echoed, but it missed the echo. Then I'm actually having on Bianca because she, since she also has uh, Merizoma as well. Then that was the uh, forearm vicious attack right there. And then that first one was, of course, Marizoma. So here I'm going to use Steny to increase my attack. 
And then with my Ranger, I'm actually going to attack. Hopefully I can get some Shadow Binds in this battle. Uh, nothing there, but um, I'm doing uh, more damage as you can see. And then here with my Armamentalist. Mm, that's actually pretty good damage. Okay. Then here I'm going to go probably for a little bit of full auto. Uh, I am joined by uh, one other person. So again, there goes another Marizoma. There's a second one. So uh, something that you could benefit from this battle is actually going to have uh, Reflect uh, cast on your character. So um, that's going to reflect back the spells since the spells actually do do a lot of damage. Here's Marizoma here, so 3,700. And Bianca's Marizoma, so hmm, it's doing a bit more damage now. There goes the uh, critical hit. And then there, ooh, there goes um, that particular... Uh, Mirror Breath Attack. Uh, but now his next attack is actually going to be... If I don't defeat him here, his next attack is going to be uh, the Dark Magic Miasma Bullets. Um, but uh, before that happened, uh, the other character uh, actually defeated him. So um, between the two of us, we actually took him down uh, pretty quickly. But uh, yeah, that was uh, one example of uh, my battle with uh, uh, Mildred, and I get 31,000 uh, experience for this, so that's a lot of XP for this battle. And he's at Yellow Soul, and I get a D. Okay, so with that battle, uh, you saw um, uh, kind of what worked. Um, you, he didn't use Destruction Wave, so um, that actually helped me out in terms of doing more damage to him with my Battlemaster and also with my Armamentalist. Um, I would have benefited a bit more um, if I had actually cast uh, a Mirror Shield on all my characters. Uh, that would have reflect back uh, any spells uh, that would be cast by him so he actually uses Merizoma and he also uses EO so um definitely with the Merizoma bouncing that back would actually really help uh, my characters out quite a bit since uh, Merizoma does do quite a bit of damage uh, at least uh, a third of my uh, HP or so but uh yeah with that said um i will probably be doing more videos on this i might make another video uh using this particular team again um mainly because i would like to do a battle just uh by myself uh to give you the full experience of what it's like and uh how you can actually get through it but uh with that said i'm going to end this video here so thank you for watching if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like. If you would like to see more, please subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.